For hours tonight, eight Macon Bibb fire units fought flames at three separate house fires near Eisenhower Parkway. Investigators believe all three fires were deliberately set. We find Ashlyn Webb at the scene of one of those fires to tell us what we know so far. Yes, I'm on the 600 block of L Street. When I got here about an hour and a half ago, it was a much more active scene. There were three fire trucks parked down the street, and also firefighters were dousing the house with water. Now, just two streets over, more crews were doing the same thing. There was another fire on Central Avenue and another on Daly Street. That's all according to Fire Chief Shade Edwards. He says the fire call came in around 7 o'clock, and the two others came in within 30 minutes later. I spoke to Captain Kelvin Watson at the scene on Central Avenue. He called the situation quote bizarre. Like I say, pretty much within a four block radius of each other. Uh, we could pretty much see uh, fire coming from trees from this location because we were actually back across the intersection for the first one that came in. And while this was in process, another one happened to come in probably two streets over to my left. Chief Edwards says all three of the houses were vacant. Now, two investigators were on scene tonight. They'll be canvassing the neighborhoods tomorrow to try to find out more information about what exactly happened. Reporting live in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. All right, thank you, Ashlyn. Chief Edwards says investigators again believe somebody did start those fires intentionally, so they're investigating those fires as arson.